All right, guys, welcome to another video. I am out here fishing with my buddy Mark, and it is post spawn in Texas. And to me, that means that the big fish have left the shallow water and they're off on staging points. They're off right maybe off the first ledge or the second ledge out in a little bit deeper water. And instead of throwing jigs or lipless crankbaits like I normally would, this is my favorite time of year to throw a swim bait. That's the BBZ1 six inch fast sink swim bait. And the reason I throw that is because those fish are looking for a little bit bigger meal this time of year. They're looking to recover from the spawn. Oftentimes when we catch them like this, they will be just ghosts of the fish they were a couple weeks ago. They'll just be skinny and in terrible shape and all beat up from the spawn, but they will be hungry. The post-spawn bite is the prime time, in my opinion, to throw swim baits like this. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to try and find some big fish on these swim baits. I am throwing the Speed Demon Pro flipping 7.5 foot rod. That's a, that's a pretty good rod for a swim bait like this. It's not a huge swim bait. Maybe an ounce and a half, two ounces, and that's all you need is just a, basically a flipping stick. And the Cast King Crixus Reel with 20 pound fluorocarbon on it. Look at that thing go. Come on, get hit. Was like a little over three grand. So it'd be worth it, dude. And then the Look at that, man. There's a hey, cast up there, cast up there, cast up there. The buy in was Look 50 at bucks, and it was 150 people. The payout was probably like five, six, seven thousand grand. Because yeah. Fayette doesn't have a lot of giants, it just has a lot of decent fish. He could just fill it out with 19, you know. Maybe get a couple of 20 or 21 in there. A lot of 20-inch fish over there. Yeah, dude, there was a lot going on up here. You think this is a crappie or tilapia hotbed? Look at all this disturbance. Oh, where well, there's where there's bait, there's big fish. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, but it was like a one-pounder. Just a little tick, you know. Got him! Yes! Yes! Good fish! Yeah! Oh! Wow! Dude! Guys, going crazy! Stay with me here! Come on! Got him! Ha 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 on the swim bait. Dude, that's crazy, bro. All right, guys, got a good fish to destroy that swim bait. This one's in a lot shallower water. And judging by its tail, it might be on a bed, man. Oh, yeah, it's it, all bloody. It might be a late spawner, or it might have just got off a of bed and is looking for a big meal. Either way, that's a gorgeous fish. Might have figured him out with that big swim bait. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Go on. You want one of them? <laughs> uh, you got one? Yeah. Don't put You think that catfish is still in there? Probably. I, mean, I haven't seen him in a long time. Is there only one? I don't know. There, there's gotta be. Dude. I know the duck's still missing. So oh, yeah. Good. Gotta be a big catfish. He probably eats all the little baby ducks at night. Yeah. Um, I'm out there one day. And it was when it was about this time of the year. I'm watching the little ducks swim across the water, and I just hear. <laughs> I look up, and the, all of them are swimming away, and there was two missing. He got two in one yeah, gulp. He got two in one gulp. Because you gotta think if he just opens his mouth, I right mean, under it's him. It's like this. Yeah. It's just like they just get wrecked. Because that one that I caught was like two fists. I mean, it was two yeah. fists wide. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, my swim bait got nailed by a pretty good fish.
Wow. He destroyed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's a take. Stay on there, dude. Got him. Dude, look at that bass. He's blind yeah. in one eye. He's complete post spawn. And he destroyed that swim bait. Holy crap, dude. Dude. That was pretty crazy. Look at that mouth. His tail's still beat up from spawn. Yeah, it really is. Like, it's not red. No, it's starting to heal, but yeah. it's still all broken apart. You see on the bottom where it's still raw. Yeah. Alright, guys, look at that bass. Absolutely annihilated that swim bait. That was fun. That fish is just complete post spawn. Skinny. Her tail is all sorts of wrecked. She's got a huge head, huge mouth. And that's the uh, Spro BBZ1 swim bait. Six inch and fast sink. What a brute. That was good, yeah. It looks, mouth. Like, it looks like a Florida strain. No, yes, it does. You're absolutely right. Nope, nope. There we go. Jeez. All right, guys, those two fish earlier in the day absolutely made my day. What an awesome, awesome experience catching those fish on that swim bait. The heat kind of got to me. It got up to about 95 today. So I came back out to another urban pond and um, a lot more pleasant out now, maybe 80 degrees just as the sun is setting. We got about a half hour until it gets dark. I'm going to try and get another fish or two on this swim bait. Thank you all for sticking with me. Got him. Look at that. Guy just killed it right there. Yeah. him hit it. That dude is pretty healthy. Came right out of that rock pile right there. Just because you throw a swim bait don't mean you won't catch a one and a half pound fish on a six or seven inch swim bait. Thank you buddy. Yes, good fish. Right there. Right off them rocks. That's a better one too. A little bit maybe. Man, they're really hitting this swim bay. I love that. Another two pounder on a little swim bay. Right on them rocks, just like the last fish. Oh, dang it. Another one just left right there. Look at this. Just walked up on this, uh, this Nutria rat is what this is. Look how chill he is. Basically a giant water rat is what he is. He lives in this burrow right here. We see him all the time, but never this close. He's almost tame. Kind of cute. Look at all that activity right there. Look at him, man. All those are tilapia. They're sitting up there feeding. And I think part of the reason this swim bait is working is because these bass think it's just a stupid injured tilapia.
Got him. Yes, good fish. I'm almost gonna guarantee you guys that I... Nope, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. I thought I snagged tilapia. Came up there and wrecked it. There was a bunch of tilapia playing around the bank. And I ran it right through the tilapia. And this bass came into that group of tilapia and destroyed it. This is the bank where you fall in. At. There he goes. Uh, all right, guys. Sun is setting on our day out here. I wanted to add just one more fish to that video, and I'm stoked that we got three to commit to that swim bait. And I think that basically every fish that we had hit today, we brought in. Those two fish were really fun. Probably would have been nine to ten pounds if I had caught it during the spawn. But as you could tell, it was just in absolutely terrible shape trying to recover from the spawn, and that's why they eat big baits like that swim bait. And I am by no means a swim bait expert at all. Um, a lot of guys throw those 8 and 10 inch swim baits for days to just get one bite, and I guess I don't really have the discipline to do that. But with a bait like this, around 6 inches, you don't get too bored because you still get the 1 or 2 pound fish like I caught this afternoon. But you can also get the huge fish like I caught this morning with a bait that size. Just still a good sized meal, but not too big to be too intimidating to a small buck bass that is one or two pounds. But had an absolute blast. Got that good fish this morning that absolutely made my day. If you guys want to pick up a swim bait, that's one I'd recommend to start with. Spro BBZ 6 inch fast sink. Not affiliated with them at all. Not sponsored by them at all. I just think it's a fun bait. Thank you guys for watching.